Hi everyone, my name is Pratima and as a part of one of my research papers, I chose to do an analysis of the co-authorship collaboration network dataset that was collected by scientist Mark Newman. The original data contains data from three bibliographic databases, that is physics, mathematics, and biology. However, the data used for this research analysis was compiled from the bibliographies of two review articles, and it contains the data of only those scientists who have been working on some kind of network theory. The data was compiled using a parser written in C programming language, and the parser uh, used in this uh, research was developed by scientist Mark Newman himself. So in this research paper, we are simply doing an analysis of the co-authorship network as prepared by Dr. Newman. We are especially interested in identifying the connectivity amongst network scientists, as well as uh, identifying the characteristics of scientific communities as detected from the GFP analysis. Using the network analysis metrics such as betweenness centrality, eigenvector centrality, etc., we will focus on answering the following few research questions, such as who is the most influential scientist in the entire network? Who, which of the scientists frequently collaborate with each other? Do scientists from cross background co-author a paper together? How many scientists belong to the largest connected component of the network? Tie strength between the scientists, identify clicks, clusters, and discuss centrality measures. So after I, load, after I loaded the file in Guffy, I applied the force atlas and newfound who proportional algorithm before applying any kind of filters to the network. And the first statistical observation that I could make was, this is not a single connected network. As we can see, this network consists of numerous clicks, clusters, and few isolates. Hence, this is definitely not a single connected network. This also means that this is a graph with a very low graph density. And when I ran the density statistics from the Gephi software, I obtained uh, the graph density of 0.006, which is an extremely low figure. Also, the average degree of the given graph is 2.412, which means that each author has at least two to three collaborators. Also at the center of this graph, we see that few nodes from uh, cluster one are connected to a distant node from cluster two, which means that scientists from cross background or cross clusters do co-author a paper together. Next, to abstract a more manageable network, I chose to filter the network using the giant component filter, filtering out nodes less than degree one. The filter network consists of 379 nodes, which, uh, which comprises of only 23.85 percentage of the total nodes. The extracted network as seen consists of nine called co-authorship communities. The nodes are sized by betweenness centrality and are color coded by red, blue, purple, orange, yellow, green, pink, sky blue, and brown. So while defining the characteristics of each of these communities, I found that the red consists of those scientists who are focused in social physics and epidemics spreading in large scale free networks. The purple consists of those scientists uh, who are focused on scale-free networks such as World Wide Web, Internet, emails, etc. The sky blue consists of those scientists uh, and mathematicians who are focused on developing fast algorithms for network epidemiology. The blue consists of physical mathematicians who are focused on synchronization of complex networks. The orange consists of those physicists whose works are noted for application of statistical physics and computational physics in the areas of equivalent physics and social physics. Likewise, the yellow consists of mathematicians and computer scientists who are focused on devising centrality measures and special networks of urban streets. The green consists of scientists with the background of biology and physics whose works are focused in metabolic networks. Likewise, the pink consists of scientists who have worked on percolation critical exponents in scale-free networks. And at last but not the least, the brown consists of those scientists who are mathematicians as well as computer scientists and whose work is focused in uh, inferring wave communities from link topology and mining the link structure from the World Wide Web. Next, I identified the most influential scientists in the entire network, as well as the most influential scientists from each of the communities that we detected from the GAFI earlier. So when the entire network was taken into consideration, scientist Mark Newman is the most influential scientist. And table 1.0 uh, lists out the network leaders or the most influential scientists from each of the communities that we detected. 
For example, scientist uh, S. Pokaleti is the most influential scientist from the blue community. Likewise, uh, scientist R. Pastor Torres is the most influential scientist from the red community and so on. Similarly, I also try to identify the scientists who frequently collaborate with each other. Uh, scientists R. Pastor Torres and Vespia Guinea share the strongest collaboration tie when the entire network is taken into consideration. This means that scientists R. Pastor Torres and Vespia Guinea have frequently collaborated with each other for many scientific papers. Table 2.0 lists the scientists who have been frequently collaborating from uh, each of the communities identified. For example, scientists Mark Newman and Watts T are the scientists from the sky blue community who frequently collaborate with each other. Similarly, from the purple community, scientists Cardali G and Koposhi A are the scientists who frequently collaborate with each other. Finally, this research paper concludes by identifying few collaboration patterns as observed in the network. And according to me, this is the most important, uh, the most interesting section of my research paper. So an interesting pattern that I could observe from the network was that scientists sharing the same nationality or heritage shared greater collaboration tie. For example, uh, scientists R. Pastor Torres, Vespia, Guinea, Vasquez, and Moreno from the Red community are Spanish by heritage, and they have co-authored many papers together. Likewise, scientists uh, Baltemi and Ellen Barat are French, and they share greater collaboration tie. Um, Similarly, uh, the other collaboration pattern that I could observe is that scientists from the same institutions or institutions with similar ranking uh, are also likely to co-author papers together. For example, scientists Duncan J. Watts and Stephen Sturgis uh, graduated from Cornell University and Harvard University respectively, and together they have co-authored several papers together. And at last but not least, uh, the final collaboration pattern that I could observe is that uh, the scientists with the same academic and research background are more likely to co-author papers together. For example, uh, mathematicians or the scientists who are mathematicians are more likely to co-author a paper with someone who is also a mathematician. So with that, uh, this concludes my research analysis for this paper. I hope you liked it and uh, thank you for watching the video.